Ugandan security officers have returned 15 boats that belong to a Kenyan fishermen following the arrest of 64 fishermen and confiscation of 16 boats. This is the latest illustration of long-standing cross-border differences between the two countries that claim ownership of Migingo Island. Well, Kenya and Uganda have agreed to form a joint security team in the counties and districts that share the waters of Lake Victoria to end the impasse. Marianne Nyambura with more. 6 a.m. Saturday. Tens of fishermen from Kenya arrived at the Usenge Beach, Lake Victoria, ready for a ride to the Lolwe military barracks in the neighboring Uganda. This time round to receive their boats that were seized by the Ugandan forces Monday this week on allegations of wandering off to the neighboring country for a fishing expedition. We confiscated some uh, uh, items from the other side of our, our, our sister country. But here, as you can see, we are giving back their boats, we are giving back the engines, and we are giving back some uh, items that are legal. But we want to appreciate this, that we have ended it in a manner that uh, our people didn't, were not subjected to some, th those kind of harsh uh, and long uh, processes of, of law. On Monday, 64 fishermen were arrested and 16 boats confiscated for what Ugandan forces claimed was lack of valid licenses and use of inappropriate fishing gear. The fishermen would later be released unconditionally. The confiscated boats are all accounted for. Security teams from the two countries have pledged to foster a cordial working relationship to ensure peace in the region and hold fishermen from both countries accountable if they fail to follow due procedures and meet their end of the deal. Already having a structured relationship on how to address our problems. So we are, we are already in the process of having our small East Africa, especially for those who are working on the lake. Like we are inviting Oma Bay and uh, Bondo is already in and Busia. So the three counties and even Migori. We are going to tell our people to use the right gear and also follow the other regulations like permits and all that so that we avoid any, any problem in future. In case of anything, we have agreed that we exchange, uh, we exchange notes so that uh, if anybody does anything wrong on this side, we are informed the other side so that we come together and see how best we can address the issue. The cross-border fishing dispute has persisted for decades, with quarrels over ownership of the Migingo and Mageta Islands a prominent feature. Mirianya Mbura, Citizen TV.